Hello everyone, welcome to Royal Online Tutorials, the online education channel. Today in our video we are going to discuss the slope of a line, but before we start, don't forget to subscribe my channel. First we are going to explain how to calculate a slope. The slope of a line characterizes the direction of a line. So today in our session, we are going to see the difference between positive slope and negative slope. And in order to find and to calculate the slope, we will divide the differences uh, and the y coordinates over uh, the x coordinates of two points. That means in order to calculate the slope, slope equal delta y over delta x. Let's take the first exercise about positive slope. Graph the following equation with qs on the horizontal axis and calculate the slope. P equal 2 plus 5 QS. Here in this equation, I'm going to find the two points. So first, I can take for QS equals 0, I will obtain P equal 2 plus 5 times 0, which is equal to 2. For QS equal 1, then P equal 2 plus 5 times 1, that means P equal 2 plus 5, that means 7. So here in this case, I will have the first point 0, 2. For QS0, P equal 2, and for QS equal 1, P equal 7. Then I will plot the first point 0, 2, and I will plot the second point 1, 7, and then I will be able to sketch the line. Here I'm going to discuss if the slope is positive or negative. First, the line is moving upward from the left to the right. That means the slope is positive. Second, any increase in the QS is leading to an increase in the P. So we can see an increase from 0 to 1 is leading to an increase from 2 to 7. That means the slope is also positive. And finally, we can also calculate the slope, which is equal to delta y over delta x, here delta p over delta q, which is equal to 7 minus 2 over 1 minus 0, it's equal to 5. Plus 5, greater than 0, and it's a positive number, so the slope is positive. Now we are going to take an example about a negative slope. Here we have the equation p equal 8 minus 3qd. So for QD equal 0, P equal 8. For QD equal 1, P equal 8 minus 3 times 1, which is equal to 8 minus 3, which is equal to 5. So I will plot 0, 8. Then I will plot the second point, which is 1, 5. And then I will sketch the line. As we see in the graph, the line is moving downward from the left to the right, so the slope is negative. Another reason, an increase in the QD from 0 to 1 is leading to a decrease in the P's from 8 to 5. So, the slope is also negative. And finally, by calculating the slope, which is equal to delta P over delta Q, or as we know the original formula delta Y over delta X, which is equal to 5 minus 8 over 1 minus 0, which is equal to minus 3, negative, so the slope is negative. Thank you for watching my channel.